For me, it was the perfect place to be. UNCSA really became a haven of very, very talented uh, artists. When you think of the vast array of, of talent that you were surrounded by and what everybody brought with their experience, it created a, a, an electric energy uh, that I've never experienced before. It was challenging, absolutely. The, the exposure to building costumes, you know, as well as designing costumes and having those happen simultaneously and really understanding what it took, it gave me the base to then be able to mature as a designer. You know, I uh, have been very fortunate, you know, even from the very beginning, uh, entering into this business. And I've been given a lot of shots from, you know, many theaters, you know, taking a chance on on a young designer when I was first coming out and then, you know, uh, continuing to offer up work. To be given the opportunity to design a piece like Hamilton was, you know, was pretty daunting because my concern was to be as brilliant, you know, if I could be as brilliant as a piece. As a designer, it's, you know, you, you spend a lot of time slogging it out. I mean, you, it's, it's the, the, the business is no joke. Oftentimes it's surprising to run into people from UNCSA, not because I don't expect it, it's that they're already professionals. I mean, they come out and they don't appear to be like unseasoned artisans. When I was uh, here in school, for the three years that I was here, um, it was a magical time. I was surrounded by uh, so much inspiration. I think that, you know, because I'm still friends with so many of the, of the people that I went to school with and, you know, they all feel the same way, you know, that they wouldn't have gotten to where they are if they hadn't been here at that time. Even though they've shifted and changed, uh, there is just an energy about the school that I think nurtures uh, greatness.